My name is Chrisanne Ann Wartman and I will be presenting The Parenting Styles by Diana Baumrind. Diana Baumrind, born in 1927, is a developmental psychologist well known for her research on parenting styles. By researching preschoolers, she found that they exhibited three specific types of behaviors, and each behavior strongly correlated with the type of parenting, permissive, authoritarian, and authoritative. A fourth type of parenting was added in 1983 by McCobie and Martin, but the parenting styles are still generally credited to Baumrind. The first type of parent I will discuss is the permissive parent. A permissive parent attempts to behave in a non-punitive, acceptant, and affirmative manner toward the child's impulses, desires, and actions. The parent generally has few demands for orderly behavior and household responsibilities or rules. They are a resource to the child, but not an ideal to strive for, and generally do not need to obey externally defined standards such as sharing a toy with a friend. Self-regulation is key in allowing the child the right to live freely. A permissive parent never spanks her child. As a result of having a permissive parent, children are more likely to be impulsive and egocentric. The lack of rules tends to give them poor social skills, which tends to create problematic relationships, and as a student, they really struggle to follow the rules. The authoritarian parent attempts to shape, control, and evaluate the behavior and attitudes of the child in accordance with a set standard of conduct. The authoritarian parent tends to be strict, consistent, but also loving when they need to be. The children tend to have household responsibilities to create respect for work, and the parent feels as though obedience is a virtue. This method of parenting was previously used to train the child to be a divine will of God. Children of authoritarian parents tend to be less independent from their peers, which results in poor social skills. They tend to be one of the students that struggle with academics, and they are most likely to abuse drugs and alcohol. These students will also be likely to have behavioral issues as well as some mental issues. The authoritative parent ten attempts to direct a child's activities in rational, issue-oriented manner. They set clear rules but don't overwhelm the child with restrictions. They are extremely supportive and loving but also recognize individual interests and special abilities to encourage independence. Children with authoritative parents are generally independent, happy children who achieve higher academic success than their peers. They have higher self-esteem and lower likelihood of mental illness and delinquency. They have a greater sense of good social skills and tend to be less violent than their peers. The uninvolved parent is also known as the neglectful parent. An uninvolved parent makes little to no attempts to parent a child, often ignoring and neglecting them. The parents are generally unresponsive to their cries and do not create any rules for their child to follow, but they generally get upset when rules are not followed. These parents also tend to have mental illnesses. As a result of their parents' neglect, the student will tend to be impulsive and face multitudinous mental illnesses, delinquency, and addiction issues. They are also the child most likely to commit suicide. Overall, these parenting styles don't directly relate to teaching in the classroom, but they can be noticed very specifically in each individual student you will be teaching. Using this information, you can better understand how the student's home life and parenting style will directly impact the student's behavior in the classroom. This knowledge can be used to help create individualized teaching for each kind of student and use their strengths to help them overcome their weaknesses.